All right, my friend, are you ready? Are you ready to get the show on the yeah, road? Yeah, let's do it up. C congratulations on the thousand, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that that was a, a long time coming. Yeah, that's, that's this awesome. is a this is a bit of a celebration of that. Also, to make up yeah. for the the crap stream from last time, no no fault of uh, our good guest. That was yeah, all, that was all on my well, end. You're well on your way to uh, becoming porcelain's non-union Mexican equivalent. So. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this. Uh, we gotta we gotta hit the button at the same time. Are you ready? We'll go on three. Uh, three, two, two, one. Go ahead. Here we go, folks. Diary of a Madman, the Vox Day story, twenty twenty. It's hard to believe that um, this was made in twenty twenty. Yeah, exactly. That was the first thing I was gonna say. Yeah. I love the, uh, the the disclaimer at the beginning there because this is when there, people still thought that like, there might be actual lawyers. The early days of like, like, there might be something to the saber rattling. Like. <laughs> but <laughs> although I'm I, I get it, like it's usually transnational it's executive like, training program, it's good to put that in no matter what. Like, so, so some rando jackass not necessarily connected and doesn't. So just to just to explain to the chat very quickly, this is going to be the audio is lowered on the video because I'm assuming most people have seen this video. The, if we're doing it DVD style, we're kicking it old school. So if you are getting upset that you can't hear the film, you can always go watch it on my channel. <laughs> Into the or open a new browser, open it out another device. That's, a, that's an excellent idea. So we we got this opening here with uh, old Keith Raniere. Who looks like young Ted. Like, I, <laughs> the way that those shots go. Like, the, the face. He, he certainly does well, certainly with more hair. Well, and it was a Ted had hair one the Mohawk. This documentary will tell the tale of the unauthorized oh, yeah. Grifter the Mohawk Empire. Oh, here, here he is with a little Part thrown one shimmy. Part will focus on the Grifter in Chief, Vox Day. In part two, we will examine Now, the I had that idea of, uh, I wanted to do a, a Owen Benjamin. crazy opening like that. I, I knew I wanted to get that gag in there with the Beavis yeah. and Butthead music. The tale as old as time. Because that's who we're dealing man with, man Beavis and Butthead here. Man teaches tried and true methods yeah, well, the first time I followed. saw it, like, well, first of all, you know that this was highly anticipated, the release. Like, uh, the, this was Star Wars in GSK, <laughs> knowing, that this, knowing that this was coming out. <laughs> and uh, it, 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 I'm like, holy fucking shit, is this guy going to give me, like, a whole epic on, like, every cult leader and every uh, person ever doing I found very little information yeah. about internet cult Well, and this one flew under the radar well, this is a because I, at the time, I hadn't... The methods and... I hadn't revealed my secret identity to the types employed by the and I was I was uh, you know I didn't know which way it would go because at the time when I was doing my YouTube channel at that time I wasn't um, as I've said before I wasn't like in the bear community but I was uh, but you were concerned about squirters there's video evidence of it of you a misplaced or excessive admiration for squirting and that well, that was a that was something I found out about cults. through the subreddit the actually. The uh, are you talking about the real? I'm not gonna, the, no, nobody doesn't believe that porn no, is a real thing, but it's the uh, being very this concerned with whether strangers touch themselves the or not. That's, uh, there's there's a fine line. No, I'm not. There, yeah. There's certainly a fine line. We both know it's shaped like a dick that line. No. Sure. Yeah. As all lines should be. Guys. It's now we're looking at some of, of uh, Chairman Mao than Marshall Applewhite. Owen's more role models. Tito than Manson. Right. With a heaping uh, helping uh, of hot. LRH kinda looks like Ted a little. Why well, is well, no, he kinda looks like John personality as so. quote. Oh, the father. L. Ron Hubbard. Well, that so makes more sense. That makes that makes much more as sense. A great person who should be admired yeah. and loved. Well, because uh, LRH was like according well, no, to researchers like, Scott and Tron. And the uh, devoted actor hypothesis, read, like any of his personality like, cults fiction, arise real as followers shit. are like, willing the to defend Earth religious, absolutely terrible. political, Sorry, and Scientologist, moral ideals but, at great like, cost. It had to be said. Sorry, quote, triple to die hard. When such values I've are never wanted to read anything by uh, L. Ron Hubbard, but I've, I've researched 
Scientology am, pretty extensively in the are. past, so I'm I'm familiar with Therefore, that criticism the of him. Of this film is but no, yeah, it's, was, he's very. I was into this. I was into this Scientology programming podcast. As much and humor I don't as remember what it's called, but yeah, I was really kept to like all their little fucking like for acronyms for a little while too. Cult People get sex checked. Founder of the Cult Education Institute. And the similarities are very Absolute striking when we're talking about L. Ron Hubbard and Vox Zane. That's kind of why I wanted to draw that parallel Is there. Question to ask well, on, both uh, cults actually. LOL. I, on the on the one hand, yes. On the other okay. hand, uh, uh, LRH uh, had the work ethic to go get his fucking tax exemption. Not to bring <laughs> That's fear. true. That's, he uh, the, the success factor or is definitely a distinction, but I'm no talking about the tactics. Uh, of course, these are the tactics inquiry. that all these cults use. Who could who could say yeah. something like That's that? That's actually what yeah. we're we're talking about right now. The cult tactics. Uh, can we talk about how corpse-like Ted looks in some of these no pictures? Like he, is, I, I think his lighting has like kind of gotten expenses, better over time. Such as an uh, I don't know if that's intentional or accidental, but he Fox, you really looks like a proof corpse. Whatsoever for any of the claims you make. Whenever I Truly see Ted, any proof I, I automatically see Nosferatu. Seems there is. Do you get that? What yeah. lawsuits are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, definitely get the. Uh, of course, we haven't filed lawsuits. That vibe. Well, and we talked about this when we were talking about the puppet show. Must be required. Right. Et cetera, et cetera. Where the if we would have went with the sock puppet no, route, we don't. We could have had a, a, a double meaning there. Whatsoever. Not only would yeah the skin no color be the same as Ted, but it would be reminiscent of all his sock accounts. Negative. Or on the other, yeah, I was gonna say, but on the other hand, I have to make two hundred eighty. Why Ty Richards, who has his <laughs> and they'd never be able to go on. anywhere except Blogspot. Um, why would you think that we're not? You know who LRH's mom is, Mother Hubbard. That's an excellent point. And if you turn on me for that. And if you backed oh, oh, yeah. Here, oh, we turned on yeah. here, You're here, all gone. Here's our boy yelling into a camera Fuck about, you. uh, yeah. He's a sick, oh, this is, uh, snake. And he's not a Jew. the Ty Richards Ty rant. Richards is a, yep. Is, oh, is yeah. A, is a and guess what he calls him? It is hoped that in church to identify the internet as well as oh, a church. Yeah. Grifter, That's, that, that, that was early on. Trump That's like kind of a more recent thing, I'd say. Calling, calling people, it's not Gamma or like... One of the ones that's like, is Vox Day? goes back to the Day Genesis. Uh, Churchian, I think you've seen more and more lately. Folks not wishing to call well, and you're seeing Owen's is a serial Owen um, fight with the church more. <laughs> well, right, exactly. Like, as soon as he decided it was the whole squirt or whatever, then and serious it became more important to call people Churchians than Gammas. Also, Gamma, like, kind of lost all of its teeth. Like, you can't. You know. By most accounts, she's a <laughs> mediocre writer and hyper-nationalist U.S. expatriate living in Italy. In reality, now we just saw some of Ted's literary offerings. <clears throat> Among them was no corporate cancer. I, I have a funny Christian story with corporate cancer, actually. I haven't shared with too many people. I, I know I've told you long ago. But when I was I, making... Uh, hold on, can I predict the story? Is it that you bought stock at Amazon the day that you like started a job and that it went up 60% since then? Class <laughs> no, it's not, that, it's not that funny. It's not that funny. It was when I was making this film and, frankly, and I was trying to reach out to people from Ted's past, which was very hard to do. Yeah. Nobody wanted to talk to me. Yeah, um, which is understandable, sure, but Fry cooks. I reached out to one individual who happened to be still close with Ted and he uh, squealed on me. You're he, let, he let Ted know that I was sniffing around. So Ted, we'll just un completely unsolicited, stupid. sends me an email so with think you know his carefully vague type of threats that he you always makes. That you're going and to attached to it is a copy of, uh, of the ebook Corporate Editor's Cancer. And I, you know, I, I didn't think of nothing of it at the time. I, I thought, oh cool, free book. Cadence. So I clicked on it, and the damn thing didn't work. And of course, after that, I was. Paranoid the, the whole time that my computer was going to get shut down and my work was going to be destroyed. <laughs> of course, nothing like that happened. But it's the moral of the story is rhetoric, at least uh, Ted not in my case. Is, uh, was displaying as his boomer usual, tech. He sent me something Fox's that didn't work. In other words, good or bad, the damn thing didn't work. Sufficiently advanced right. intelligence because even if even if it was like so uh, I think it was 75 IQ communist was saying that he had the same thing happen where uh, Teddy emailed him and was like uh, you know hey uh, you know well, what did JBP, he send him was it Jordan, Jordan Nettich yeah it was Jordan Nettich he was like that JBP he's a real piece of shit uh, here take the take the entire take the entire book 
and uh, there was nothing attached but uh like what intel what intel are you gonna get that people Make spend no their sick. days fucking dug on is you very much like, the I can't say that I'm surprised. <laughs> it's a Canadian. It's a Canadian construction worker. Like, what rubble are you gonna bow? Like, you're gonna call up. Like, a man of inherited means. <laughs> Special thanks to Alright, listen, I, I, I know you think that guy's really good at putting those joints research. in, but let me tell you, he <laughs> mocks a Bill white nationalist in his spare time. Okay, so it's, always funny, it's always funny when the bears try that shit, too. They're like, oh yeah? Who's your American employer? Like, oh, what, what the fuck are you gonna do? Boston, <laughs> descended in my we just had the shout out to Still Nacho Hunt, Friend, American who did the... Brunt of this genealogy Valley work, Forge, of course. And stuck yeah. In the history of the American Revolution. Now Let's this talk what, about what a fake Latino you are, Ted. Fatale, Nacho, <laughs> El Teddy, yes. Has always been distorted. Now this part we're John talking Beale, about the um, grandfather. The Revolutionary War hero. Do you remember those claims? I haven't yeah. heard them in a while. Uh, in West the Pancho Villa one. He still, I think he's still he sticking to. He did because it. And while serving under Cause, General cause, Lafayette, cause that's the that's Nacho the one wrote, where like at least they were alive. Lafayette didn't arrive time. in America until June 13, <laughs> versus, 1777, uh, five months after Beale's death. <laughs> Versus died on January 25th, the what he says that Paul's logic did that just near the head you know, of Elk Valley in Maryland, died five months before where the his battle. Were interred. Also note and that not even I don't, he was not even at Valley Forge. Forge until December, that that is the claim. Big tourist trap, by the way. I don't know if you've ever been. But, no, no, sir. Uh, I, nah, on his like, eternal side. It, all of his Beale makes much really hullabaloo just, about his great grandfather having fought alongside it. General Pancho like, Villa really during the Mexican not, Revolution. Not, not too much to see that's like still there not. anymore. Uh, but Valley Forge is just a goddamn field. Like there's Let's maybe two buildings that were still around, and yeah. But like there's a bunch of like you Revolutionary War battlefields around there, and like in Maryland, like down like that area of 95, and they're all boring. Civil War battlefields are kind of boring too, unless you go to Gettysburg. See what a lot of you. This tourism advice brought to you by you slash Oso de Medical. Of a Mexican revolutionary. So we just heard Rat Ratza, La Ratza. <laughs> I love that one. Following the family's own ancestry records, Nacho explains. Oh, Francisco Mercado Gonzalez would be the right great grandfather born in the right place. Yeah, these to took a the, the the whole Francisco genealogy thing to took, a, took a big backseat for a little while source, US after after this dropped. The Beale family 39 down votes on this thing. I'll, I'll give you when the Francisco came to the USA. 420 up vote so right I'm here. So with that one too since his actual oh, family should have voted it already. So think. Uh, I'm These are some not of the events around either <laughs> of the dates Francisco came to the USA. This is this is this is how you caught me fighting. This is how you caught me fighting. After with, killing an uh, army officer in the horse, he no longer was known as Francisco Pancho Villa. Because I normally watch YouTube on this other computer that's logged in like as somebody else. Villa so like, said to have alternated episodes with a couple of theory taping. with more legitimate pursuits. <laughs> July 20th, 1920. Pancho negotiated <laughs> peace and was that's a striking woman there. July 1923. Mrs. Villa. Pancho Villa assassinated. Uh, Abraham Gonzalez, Abraham Gonzalez is on Wikipedia's list cap. of Mexican revolutionaries he does, and yeah. was a mentor to Pancho Villa, but I can't find oh, where he would actually fit in, into my tree and Indian he wasn't anywhere in the Teddy. Beale family tree. Focahont the real if Focahontas. If he was a relative of Vox, he would be something like a So great, what, great what is Vox post. then? Is he Based on all of the above, Indian? Is I'm he now going to file Vox's Mexican? Well, being an Indian white nationalist seems to be big as a lowly people. horse thief that rode with Pancho Villa and like ran off before well, oh, I, you, you don't mean anything of significance. You mean like Native American. Right. The direct source of Bill's yeah. Because he's claimed, he's father. claimed all of them. Bill is the son of millionaire yeah. tax well, cheat and OG locale Robert Bill. Like everything else Now, the elder Bill deserves a segment all to himself. Like, like, you're not However, going to get any honesty in any other claim because be it's all rhetoric and not dialect. Like, Robert B. you know the whole. Brilliant graduate of MIT it's, it's just so exhausting. An entrepreneur who started here a successful is, tech company. Like, in the like here, last you've never seen so, something century. so boring, so exhausting. At the he also same time. was an early board member of the Here is the man, Daily Mr. Website. Bob Beale. Pappy. Springboard for boxes. Yeah, it becomes a religion. Commentary. Robert Beale's most recent claim now that's to fame, a, that was a crazy story. The, the story of the oh, how, he, sovereign citizen how, he, how he had the like folk or outside of his sentence the effort. judge to death. That's crazy. Yes. Like also, that's such a Tedley thing to do. To jail for 12 years. Well, he was on the run for a full year, I believe. 
until they finally caught up with him. The feds caught up with him in Florida. No big surprise there. To mention that his father um, failed to pay almost but they dragged him back to Minnesota. And, over $5 million in income over a and it, I, of a few years. I don't know if it was when he, he was, was awaiting trial that they did that. But yeah, that's, that's exactly what they did. They tried, they tried the judge movement. in absentia. Robert Beale was a cross-country For crimes against humanity or something, for saying that he had to pay his fucking taxes that he knew about. We're not a mystery in this land. And if it's given multiple warnings, that's the thing about these people who get arrested on purpose. Like, they should only be mocked. Like, we should... One Supreme That's Court the only appropriate reaction to somebody like getting multiple warnings the and then going Minnesota, out and still getting arrested. I don't care if it's for a message. Like if you go out and you seek to get arrested Yahweh, and then get arrested, and, and, then, and then act like you are some sort of like United States of America. Yeah, and everyone quote, should make fun of you. What? Some additional lessons Vox may have he learned got from the uh, twelve years for that. Creating shell companies. And I he think he, like, yeah, I think he just, damn near served all of it. At that point, it's it, like you're not looking at just the thing and with like the, 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 the fucking judge. I mean, it certainly might make one question why, when Vox first moved to Europe, oh here we go, his first residence was in the land of Swiss banks. Awful lies. In conclusion, talked about how Bill's propensity he, he looked, for like, tall way back tales in the day, and used to like walk around business practices and, uh, yeah. has begun to be established. D d deliver it steady. I like that because it's like. Uh, to his astronomical intelligence, no chair he just won't shut up. He's actually out. standing but pretty tall there. Fast and loose with the truth. Right, solid five we six. We will continue to document the malevolent oh, the sword. of the misanthropic. One rogue and tall. Chapters. Great moments in Lockout history. This is one of my favorite parts. Great moments in Yo, is there, are there history. universities that offer PhDs in Lockout history? Man, I, think, uh, Today's episode, I think I can get a faculty Fox position. Gab. There, there certainly should be. Shout out to Sawson for putting to the person above who just scored. Uh, classic. Example, oh, nice. When yeah. someone calls you a racist, call okay, so first five. Ted was wearing a Gab shirt. Now he's wearing a SJW's Always Lies shirt. <laughs> Everyone stay away from Volk's day. He's a faggot Talmudic half Jew, half Mexican pedophile. Oh, this, uh, this is a first shout out to the Nightwing. I got a lot of uh, boys this ma Jews material for, from him, actually. Hmm. The Gab Lo the Gab you low suit. Are you a pedophile too? Uh, Ted's gab page is still up. Uh, oh yeah, some people don't, some people don't realize that you can go like at any moment and like, the last week was just threatening people. Like, you can see this. You can still see this episode in action. There on Gab, that's when he left. Was because of all this. Yeah. And because Box Gab is so SJW shitty and like so clunky and so poorly laid out, so what uh, is the outcome of this whether you'll the see the reply the issues you have with Gab some time back, given Gab's, uh, oh, they just, depends you know, on whether you're logging in on like a mobile or like a or like a desktop. Torbo it's, just, was, it's, uh, it's such on a his free speech thing. Uh, like I have no idea. It, uh, in, in literally I was every some single, extremely, like, uh, by every metric, by every truth metric, Gab's obscene. It's always sucked. Uh, I told him he should take it down. Well, you know, did you he ever said, use it, it was before? Weird people, like not. in early Gab, people used to act like, "Oh so yeah, it, I yes." I stopped I, using I, Gab. I, I, like when I first heard about it, yeah, I was that's like, about all right. It seems kind of interesting. Um, he said he like, wouldn't give us it's names. On the he block, said, "Go ahead and like sue." That. It really, really doesn't matter. We started the <laughs> like process. Whether it's on the block. Oh um, yeah, we definitely need these crispy And then it just to be preserved for a while. I just got too busy to to bother with it. The problem yeah, was that you're never going to get like critical mass, time, you're never going to get like any sort of like yeah, popular right. usage. If every time to, you go to Gab, it um, basically looks like folks. the Daily Stormer down the front so. of your page. And that's what happens <laughs> exactly. every single time. Because like I put a bunch of parody accounts on there. And, uh, this is man like, another it, episode of it. Even like the couple people I knew that were there, like thought the was funny or whatever. Like you don't, don't really get much interaction, and then if you go around looking for any interaction, you have your choice between like Klansmen, dumb Klansmen, <laughs> <laughs> white nationalists, uh, neo pagans. When does he derive you know, the majority of his shame whatever. and control? It's very tactics. limited. I I did notice yeah. that. I liked I liked old Gab much better hierarchy. than new Gab. One part horse and also, um, like, the, and I, I don't know about you, but, like, there's days where I just, like, straight up don't feel like discussing how many people died during the Holocaust or pedophilia. Well, on. that's like, what, that's the one, I mean, that's one of, one of I many things. Some days I want to talk bad, and I, uh, it's, it's, it gets so, so bad, bad until it got converged. 
by it the gets it does get old and you know really it has that that reputation as reach. being the the Nazi place or whatever, but it it sometimes alphas earns that reputation as much as I hate to say it. Men who women yeah. were attracted to. This is all right. So now we're getting to the good, the good Fox stuff. Diversity accreditation. The SSH. Yeah, I wanted to. I I left that in there intentionally. The Vox diversity thing. Because I wanted to show people how stupid thing is astounding Boxes because people still like tout it as if it's like good shit behavior. and it's not. <laughs> it's it's more Let like as a big man explains something and then like two really boring the talks on history that that were better done the elsewhere the first. Well, they're still asking for it. They're still wanting to throw money at this damn thing. And what what the hell was it? Just YouTube videos. Wait, wasn't you mean it? to tell me the Ted Sock accounts want Ted to make more content that they could pay Ted for? Holy shit! Guys want to be like. So, well, you know, at least one out of ten of those is some actual idiot that really wants to throw money at Ted. One out of ten is a rule I live by. <laughs> okay, so this is why I wanted to leave in courtesy Vox Diversity so everybody could see that this is what this man is talking about. Top Gun. Uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Um, you know, what else was in there? Pretty in Pink. Ted's Vox Diversity and his whole sexual, sexual, social sexual hierarchy, excuse me, is based on 80s teen movies. Yeah, it's The Breakfast Club. Uh, I once had someone tell me that every single like chapter in Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life was said better by an episode of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. <laughs> Anthropologist Tim White concurs and elaborates. So, Alpha I'm sure that there's a similar parallel ago, with Fox Diversity. But they no longer exist among humans. For 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 the every good Owen Benjamin podcast, Supreme there's an episode of Broke Straight Guy. Had to create a separate category in the or rather outside the hierarchy to describe himself. Okay, so now we're getting to... You really did a good job, ca like, capturing how fucking boring he is, like, without boring people with him. Like, you, it, it's, like a, it's like a vaccination. Uh, Bill Other Gates came in, he told you to make this, and, uh, like, he gave him, like, just enough <laughs> to be like, oh, this is what he... This is what old Ted's going for. Who was it that came up with that? I think that was your one of your old jokes, uh, a vaccine. Just speaking in a way that's... Oh, I don't know if that was me, but... And I know we're not technically out... Like, I'm a Bravo, he's a Sigma. I get it, but It's low effort, so it might have been me. And oh, here's our man Binge Bear, the Bravo. Oh, yeah, he's a Bravo so, male. He doesn't like. You may recall. Oh, now, so what? What's male. the difference between a Bravo and a Beta male? That movie uh, is a whether Ted likes you. Wish fulfillment it's, it's, it's like everything else. What What is taking the ticket mean? Like, there's no way of telling, like, by someone's like dumb fucking words on the internet, whether they've personally the like taken some mythical ticket or not. Uh, no, it's just like if you say shit, Ted likes them. Sure. One is their habitual dishonesty. There's the nerds. Revenge the of the nerds. Tend to be very, very dishonest. Both with them. Oh, and that famous I, line. I, I, I gotta, I gotta say. Uh, one thing in, in the suggestions for this, like when, 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 you, when, you, when you click on this, my suggestions down the side are uh, one for a bunch of like obvious ones alpha because I searched is what transformed like, diary, diary, diary of a from a ragtag band of uh, The National so World War One Museum, and then there's a debate on free what trade with Bob Murphy and Fox Day, where Ted like kind of gets his ass handed to him, but somebody asked him like, well, who? Uh, dealing that's like prominent is not a grifter. Yeah. That's one. Uh, yeah, well, Bob, that's what we I mean by really, when we talk like he has a job at Texas about. Tech. He, I've never what seen a master money or anything. Is, and there's a lot of like people in like the legal you know, the world and like economics, but like the Secret thinking King, people stuff is still generally grifter proof. But like anything that involves influencers is absolutely converged by right wing SJWs. Gammas. Oh, there's the trenches of World War One. There he is. Would probably have had their throat slit by their own. And rightly so. That's the thing, like so much sort of, of the primitive shit, like, society, a gamma like people that will doing not the last very action. long because he will simply get clubbed to death. You were gamma. You were it would be proof. Life. Fucking gamma. Flattery. Gamma oh god, he looks gamma sort of thin there. Gamma males. males. The gammas. Gamma trolls. Gamma. Gamma. Gammas. Gamma. 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 Yeah. Oh, How's his publishing house video. going? Have we heard anything since Beals, the gravy who lost its biscuit or whatever their like last children's book was? Well, you know that he parted ways with uh, what was that man's name? 
Moving Charlie, forward, I believe it was Charlie, the, the British man. The they oh. parted ways over the whole gravy and biscuit thing. Did so, was it like an even separation where one of them got the gravy and one got the biscuit? Is this going to be litigated in family recently, court, as tends to be a frequent to like to epilogue tell. to Ted viewership? Story of how well, you know, I was thinking detractors. about that. The crippled kid where... in a wheelchair. Arbitration, twice by the, Massachusetts the, the Patreon arbitration, I mean, that's basically I, I small claims court, court, isn't it? The, it's like yeah, uh, it's an episode of Judge Judy or something? The, yeah, that's the, exactly, the, the, those are arbitration hearings, and Ted even cites that. Down to the station. I didn't swat anyone. Oh, I here's the big one. This this is what got me started the, down this whole road of documenting kid, all this stuff. Um, but yes, was I the crippled kid story. Both his employer. It was great and that you found I also him contacted. Yeah, and it was so um, easy. His yeah, he was he was kind of and he was kind um, of keeping a low profile, but actually uh, it wasn't very hard went because out to his house. Once, I mean, Ted Docks the second time. Well, and you could definitely see him into the by, just like you, just like that um, dude that. Oh, and gross on stage or whatever. Like, I, I can 100% see why that guy was like, Who's yeah, in the wheelchair? Uh, I think I'll keep this one add on. Yeah, well, yeah, the, and that's that's the funny part is that to go down there's so many, like I said, you run into, I was running into all these people that were, had fears that were not unfounded, but they just didn't want the headache of dealing with these idiots anymore. <laughs> It was what it was. Story did not and right the other the thing is, like, with so, a lot of, especially these two, you have to, was like, to a, lot of, this mysterious a lot of it is the negative dark space. Lord. Like, you have to look at what they're not saying. After and 10 minutes of they never accused you of making any blog. shit up in these. And following leads on like, social nobody media was ever like, hey, like, I found the following claims are all false. Yama like, Mamana was located. Uh, it's just, oh, well, fuck these people, they're damn it. Since Yama no, that's to be true, and I, I and get relatively few troll attacks as far as, part will be read <clears> not that the, the bears are any good at it to begin with. Well, but you took this menacing pick right here. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and that's, <laughs> I, I think a part of me thinks the they're afraid of Mexicans. I don't know, I could be wrong, but blah, blah. could it be? I've been doing some deep well, do you have more than 10 acres? Because then you basically have your own country. Are you the person he's referring to? No, sir, I do not, but I do have a, a rather menacing yet. look, as you, as you mentioned. Yeah. What, did, what did you books. think of uh, okay. the, my Boston the accent? Research I did. It, is my uh, it was good. A, it, it did sound kind of retarded. B, and that's, and uh, and that's C, like pretty much their arrested. thing. Like, they're through Can Long Island. Uh, that entire corner that is just a true has the worst accents in the entire country. I've been all around. Can you give me your recounting of this time period? I know it was a few years like, back, it, but it, like, if you were going power three for worse assets in the country, it would be Boston 1, Long Island 2, Philly them? 3. Jesus and, like, Mary I'd be willing to hear down. arguments. <laughs> like, with any of, like, the... any using you as a totem to try and scare anymore. all us and, like, detractors into dropping our massive trolling campaign against him. basically, like... He's threatening Just a slightly less able Philly accent. And the Philly accent is really bad. E. Michael Jones has really hard. And I can't listen to him, like... Was <laughs> for that, for, for that exact reason. Weaving the wheelchair yarn. Because he, he oh, just sounds oh, like oh, every Eagles fan. Must live in some kind of drunk. Reality. And Please, yeah, tell no, me your no, side no, of the story. Great shot right some there. Commentary on one of his earlier novels. He did call okay, the cops so for when people who, who it haven't figured it out yet or, or heard this part yet, the crippled kid thing was a complete and total fabrication. We made it up. I noticed your criticism of their work seems to be the catalyst. It might have been a subplot from this one of Ted's books. Me. But yeah, it didn't right. happen in real life. And the, 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 yeah. great, the greatest thing is people Wait, were like, hey, Ted, uh, we can't years? find any arrest records for that. And uh, all arrest records are public in the state of Massachusetts. He and he's like, well, I have emails. Charges. Like, oh, really? He really like, means you've got the most case, easily fabricated piece of evidence possible? Okay. And he wants what, to still what sound threatening think? to anyone else. What did he think course, that was going to prove? I and realize what? how easily disprovable his <laughs> he claim said he was. had emails from the policeman. Bare bones internet right. sleuthing. He says you are not allowed internet use. I, I just I don't what you what. You to blog regularly. <laughs> this man is so fact, hard to understand. Oh. much of this. Fail to understand. I fail. I definitely fail to understand AF, often, very often, when it comes to Ted. Let's hear a bit. That's probably why. 
It seems they I try. I try my hardest, but there's a, there's you. a significant communication and gap between interactions with people like folks. you and I and uh, is in Vox Dave super Gooms. mega exploding brain. I remember Marku Copenhagen. Well, that's why he talks so slowly. After anyone vaguely associated with me, and also apparently people who have nothing to do with me. To make sure that we're able to contact the wildlife center you volunteered at. I thought they contacted some. So we got these. Uh, Oh, Shots of Marky did. Mark here. I thought what, forms did that take? what I th I didn't what like is that I didn't have, have a photo. I didn't have a video. I didn't have audio from Yamamamana. So I needed a I Massachusetts stand in. I thought who and by, else I think he personifies I mean, Boston, he a Massachusetts a more than Marky Mark Wahlberg. By the end, it was just sad. <laughs> they couldn't find that much about me. I don't even know what they said to anyone at the Wildlife Center. Yep. I know he said there were at least three. Oh, that's right. That's the other thing. They, try, they tried to friend, get him fired from volunteering at a wildlife center. Proved, <laughs> right. In his insane movie Which is not SJW behavior in the slightest because they the rob of the situation. Well, that's what you call using the, the tactics against him. Any police involvement. Right. That's the Each thing. It's like, I'm, like the more time goes on, the less I'm convinced that, like, that that I like big three letter boogeyman like refers to any person or even group of people and more so refers to a pattern of behavior that's IP like marked by immaturity that most people grow out of but some people become Marshfield, fucking bad. Massachusetts. He works okay so this is, like this, this is what this asshole did. His minions might I, I'm sorry go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah that's it. Uh, the but literary yeah, critic. like it's it's uh, being being an SJ dub is like more of a tactic than anything. Se, but of course, but Ted is like volunteers you know, regularly. He, he projects, so everything New you England hear him like decrying center, about like the gamos or whatever. Like giving him a call and uh, well, that's what this man did exactly. What, what we're watching him. here is he took this guy His who was just trolling him, who was just front company, House, um, criticizing Marco his Coburn. books. And he, he put out his IP address. He put out his full Yama's name telephone several times. He put out his. And age. He put out his Coburn phone, will be his town, er, everything. It was because, necessary to fact check the because he was making sides. fun of Ted. First, they wrote the that after the speaking with police on January thirteenth, two thousand fifteen. <laughs> uh, wait, he doesn't even he does, he he recycles. Yama the, will not be permitted like he, unrestricted he access like, to the um, internet going forward. Like that sounds like a deceptive put way troll of hunt trying to say Yama was restricted from internet access. <laughs> I shouldn't this even give him a menacing voice because that, that, that to blog like, regularly to after be the menacing would be to provide to entertainment to value. Like, in fact, the first my blog after the police incident mentions no arrest or, and only uh, alludes to puppet. Dave's cronies' harassment. Deeds. Well, I need to find like YouTube About royalty the free chair involvement. <laughs> that, that I think the is the lawyer request revealed no arrests. So here's the Again. police. Here's the actual police report. And as you said, if. You, it's not and hard to find if to you, if you ask you will receive so i was with the uh, email the marshfield police department and they sent me the copy of the complaint and yeah they, that's the problem is these people get into like, legal shit and, like, and high history. And things Let's that are like stay, this is the world. that's what that's where they fuck up like, they, they, they wind up saying Let's things like, there are actual Flint Flint independently Flint verifiable Flint public records against Flint also owns wearing a sword and scale hoodie here into the true crime podcast nice it looks like it's covered in bird shit caricature from the 18th yeah, century and a cartoon mocking You know, those, those Costco and those Starbucks brownies get a little crumbly. Black girl, Not wanting to miss out on the limelight. Oh, yeah. oh this That's is the Fuentes episode. Yeah. A live debate on Child how many people died in the Holocaust. Holocaust. The, to, to this fact. day, this is one of my, probably my favorite episode in the whole unauthorized locale saga. Oh, yeah, this is the best 30 seconds of time right here. What do you try to get this? And then... The you VFM know. never brought him to him, and then nothing <laughs> happened. Like, you want it, it's like Nick? everything else. Everybody you have 24 hours, or else Fine. the rubble rebounds. Nick. All right, see you in 24 Let's hours. Pause. And then nothing fucking Let's happened. debate. <laughs> Let's debate the Holocaust. Fuentes outrolled the trolls with a snub and masterful rhetoric. Now, nobody likes Fuentes. But, right but now. no, I don't know. that's just smile talkers. 
he's like, he was well, great in this, in this well, but he handled so it so great ridiculous. right because he just handled it like is anybody any, who any, like is a droid uh, on their feet would be able to like, really checking the dark stream every day oh, like, what no and also this is this this, is, this is person could really be his checking, son uh, what is it, the <laughs> sure the yeah it, i mean let's let's examine this situation this is a young man i think at this time he was 20 21 something like that and you got two men Double his age. Yeah, Owen was already damn near forty. Keep in mind, like he and Ted are both Latinos, so Ted could be his grandfather. Really. <laughs> I, I, whenever I watch a dark stream, I have to sure, but I mean, like, what? Why? Oh, it's, it's like again, just failing to understand. Trust me, guys. Failing to understand. Just why? Why would you start something with this young man? I don't. Not falling asleep in the first ten minutes. Oh my god. You have to watch it on three times speed to hear it at like a normal. And then think it's like gonna go well too, because. But trust me, if you can part of it, part of these really internet like, beefs is like well, they have like a larger, score, like, way, way more rabid contest. fan bases than you, which is why like it would be a dumb idea to go after I don't know the fighter and the this kid. Has been I, get, I get suggestions for that stuff. Like, the the about like what any of them are doing on some dumb show about like you know. MMA or like comedy, or a lot of it is comedy. Shady talking business comedy. practice and is a light motif of his many the, often the last goddamn thing the world needs is one more Castalia House book, one the publishing house Castalia, podcast, which Regan publishes God, days the books, art of doing well comedy. Projects he All Hero Q. Oh, and Johan Kausi. Yep. The Vanity Press. Special thanks to the Night Wind. Oh, that was that was. Do you remember that episode? That the was. Um, House is not owned by Day Vox. On Paper. He did Although a whole. He gives the it wasn't a parody. It, it was a ripoff company. of John Calzy's no, book. The business is registered. To and he the called it the Corroding Empire. I can't remember the name of of John Calzy's version. But he his pen name for that was Johan Calzy. House is a subsidiary of the Finnish computer software uh, company Alpenwolf. So I'm a hundred pages to lock in right now. The, 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 the Scalzi book is really, really good. Uh, it works is it really box on a Libras? Yeah. But records um, indicate publishing it, is where the company it, it kind of gets deep of into income. like the whole like fact, what's going on. So like I had to like go over. I never read such shit. I read like stock reports and shit. Box uh, Day's Reddit. official title of Alpenwolf is the designer. No, Over it's it's, it's interesting. House, it's it, and it's credited it's as lead editor. Very much better than anything Castelli House is his putting out. Even Maga paper. Mindset. However, an article from a Finnish publication. What's going on with Cerno, man? He looks horrible. His own blog, he really looks like shit. I think he's. I, uh, the article cited so Copenin's claim that he started If you take a lot of these, like, testosterone replacement and, and like, hormone therapy shit, oh. it really fucks up your face and, like, makes it super bliss. And you kind of see it with, space, uh, like, Rick Bogan a little bit as well. But, yeah. like, there's a couple, there's a couple people, like, in that realm that are, like, aging super rapidly because they're, like, afraid their dick won't get hard. Reminds or me like, of uh, uh, Brigitte Nielsen also. He like, ran afoul of Indiegogo when uh, he crowdfunded okay. his attempt to yeah. glom onto the Comics Gate oh, here goes all, all hero a comic Q. book called Get Alt Hero. Off. Indie QQ. Indiegogo's official reason for pulling the campaign was Yo, uh, pour one out for the Q boomers, though. The goal like, of the what a sad turn of events. Like, well, they get they kicked off Facebook, right? Yeah, and they, like, that, that was their home, like... That Journalist sucks. Amanda Rob it's like, it's like they're subreddit the being banned. Uh, yeah. They're, well, they're welcome. They're they're welcome at Gab. In excess of five thousand. They are welcome at Gab. Wow, the average contribution to any crowdfunding to campaign too. is sixty-six dollars. You know, uh, Samurai this Jeff was in there the other day saying that he was just a bunch of boomers questioning propaganda. Maybe some Which is really euphemistic, if you ask me, but okay. <laughs> Day also has recently wrapped up an Indiegogo campaign. Oh, I hadn't seen him in a while, but um, <clears throat> it was a disappointing return. Books. Yeah, it, it wasn't to be seen really, this project will ever materialize. Like you take people, you take people as you have. Like, oh, you know, like did I mix it up with Blaze a little this week, like after he, like, became Gab of the Week and managed to catch all of right? He's like, yeah, but whatever. Who cares? Day, like that's that's the difference the between like being a gab and being Ted Lee. Like, like yeah, you have like a little like fucking like to and fro with someone, and then just 
Owen. Well, that's yeah, one yeah, of yeah. our that's one of our mottos. No ankles are off limits. Most recent and right. noteworthy hustles is his ongoing business interests with adulpated bozo. Oh, oh Davy, has he been arrested? Has, has he been done anything lately? Uh, yeah, now. he's still streaming. This ground will not be. Is he still like a. Uh... Time. The subject will be like covered a, more like in depth. Like in a VJ, uh, standing what there, like, will be focused on is one particular call to arms video. at the end of 2019. Oh, um, because he's not doing, he's not doing 10 million content, though, duo, I'm assuming. No, well, I don't think so. Or he might so. be just doing boring 10 million content. Nobody in order wants. to intentionally be removed from various platforms. Whatever, he's not one step too After far, shout out. After signaling my free speech, the twisted yeah, I, pair I, sits back I can't and rakes in turn the down, um, Ted or Owen content, so if it's well on, today, I'll, I'll watch it, whoever's playing it, but I no, I haven't noticed it from him in a while. There's, there's certain stuff where, like, I, I, I've got, I got to see it. Like, of this method of operation you know I love you, Sam, took part but in December of 2019. Really, like, you got to cap this shit at two hours. Just a few weeks after <laughs> Benjamin's long-planned goal of being kicked off YouTube, YouTube, this happened. <laughs> but it's Saturday, it's a hangout, it's not like it's all, they, all he ever talks about. I get it, like, the whole... with these guys vibe of the show very simple oh this is oh, a great I, 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 I would i would definitely box told show. everybody go, go the chomps severity of what happened because i'd say i'm sure if he wanted but, um but there's too much confusion yeah i don't think oh, here, oh here's the swatter they're taking this very seriously yeah this is a this the is a good part of swatting Benjamin had been swatted the legal swatting definition of swatting instinct <laughs> colloquialism quote the action or practice of making a prank call to emergency services. Okay, just so everybody knows, this is what swatting actually is. Large number of armed police officers to a particular address. And it, it should Ian look Day something like that. Was into looking up the correct definition. Upon oh, I saw wrong, this live when it he happened. Immediately doubled down <laughs> as per usual. He, oh, looked, this is for the dictionary. he had to look up the definition. Keep it simple. And then he proved himself wrong. And we'll look it up. Let's say your uninformed swat. analysis was correct. Verb used with object to hit. Okay, it's smack, a verb. Smack. Oh my god, this guy is so, He's such a nerd, man. Long, usually for a long distance. <laughs> First recorded in 1790. Like when he's got that, that the the pallid like skin caused by caused by the lighting, like the stubble then doesn't help any of that. No, I was just gonna say he looks very disheveled here. Uh, when he does it, shave his little down. island of hair on top oh, as well. That's, oh, wait, here we go. It's always, always a little um, bit of a rough go. It's a noun, a special sexual... Looks a little bit like anorexic Kenneth Lay. Agencies. <laughs> I, I mean, Kenneth Lay in his current state. Not like... Okay, here, uh, here, no, this is fair. They use this back when he was CEO of Fedra. SWAT, especially among um, online gamers... Didn't he die? <laughs> <a> SWAT <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he died. Okay. Well, he died so when he was like a white comms definition. That's a, like conspiracy the thing that he but understands which is i listened to a podcast it was a good it. idea to use the that makes uh, me an expert by like the current Definitely. okay so this is where he doubles down this is, he says this is that's why it was good for us to use my definition of swatting let's see <laughs> in an attempt to buttress his position day appealed to the authority of the anti-swatting act of it's amazing this thing is only 47 minutes you. go like read pretty action-packed very concise uh, there was a lot packed in there. Yeah. Because that's the thing. It's like it's a lot of this is like a, a lot of the content. The attempt people. to introduce this bill into law died. In well, the and that was really the challenge like with both of these. With, really both, with both of the. Uh, something to happen. To one, one attempting to twist the truth. With, with but both of these saying, stories. This is badminton right so here. So what really happened <laughs> that fateful December That's That's quite the compliment, my friend. Um, oh, hold on. This is uh, this is the important part right here. This is where it all came out. At the request of Child Protective Services, due to <laughs> repeated complaints of Benjamin's the police report, where what did they behavior. say that he was jerking off to the gay porn? Neither condone nor endorse <laughs> gay ops. That was real, folks. That, that was I did not make such, any of that stuff up. But in the Again, play, all you have to do is ask, and they will send you allowed. exactly what they write However, in their police reports. Two things have been made abundantly I like, clear. I like the word supposed. First, he supposedly Benjamin jerks will have off. Benjamin to lie in the bed porn. he has made, and second. <laughs> Both he and Vox Day are objectively lying Someone's, by continuing to push it, it, this false it's, it's swatting It's the mental narrative. image of someone supposing, like, sitting there, like, considering, be like, you know what, I guess he does jerk off to gay porn. 
<laughs> he is, he is considered to be a squirter. Beal is the very epitome of All right, we're at the, uh, so we're at the very weird to see Ted out of context here. He with, is a petty. Uh, the, without the books behind him, right? yeah, but still, bad. but still looking sick. I think that's when he, uh, when he visits uh, Boomer Farley. Like the SJW I think that's the, uh, the Spanish Via. He often tries to attach himself to various man, man, genres and man, man, movements man, 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 man. and become the. Wait, what, what's in the background there? Is that uh, Israel? Questionable. One fifty IQ. Uh, yeah, I mean he's gonna go to summit. When called on his irrational behavior. He will then attempt so to raise the China or South to the Korea. ground. Japan. He has attempted to do so with Gab, Indiegogo. Uh, he's in front of Hugo a '90s Wars. school photo. The list could go here. on and on. <laughs> yeah. He's had beefs with people he's envious of. Most with like the lasers and Peterson. shit. I think I think I have <laughs> one of those often, somewhere. However, Mate. He attacks people on his own side of the aisle, such Nick. as Andrew Torba, Nick Fuentes, William Buckley, Michelle Malkin. And many others. Oh yeah, go after him. He necessitates a cult of the, the other funny thing is names like it's always like minions, conservative tents going the after him. He's like he's just the legal <laughs> never going after anyone to, to the right. Of. Stroke his sensitive no, that's true. He never goes after the, the actual SJW. Because they don't exist. And harassment for like, <laughs> These people that are like this converging huge companies, the they don't exist. Crimes against sanity. And like if they did, like they. Laugh, to subject to oneself and others to too much be like Elizabeth Warren type. Sitting. Like you think she's gonna it's be like, oh war damn. Crime internationally. Like, better really heed the words of to give cancer. credit where it is too. The man is indeed a low cow for the ages. He is a low cow for the scale. ages. If not for the mind-numbing boredom, the virtual the room whack is off. This is still not so friend. Uh, despite the fact that I'm Matt, unable to be at the jet because of Ryan, I do song. like that she uh, she went full Keep logos for TV there and typed a whole like long ass sentence. The internet all is ruined for you. Yeah, big <laughs> damn hard as dumb. All right, so that is the end, <clears throat> and we have a great we have a great uh, closing song here. You know who wrote this song? Chuck Boris. No, no, not this one. This is um, the channel's name is Enriched Macaroni Product. Oh, I, I 100% thought this was Chuck. Okay. It's not. It's not Chuck Boris. It's his brother, Marvin Boris. That's an 80s. That's an 80s movie reference too. Okay, we got. Oh, here, here's the music credits right here. <clears throat> this one I actually got this Ashumale, yeah, whatever the hell the music. First, even the first time I watched this, I think really watching the credits. In and Rich color. Macaroni product spells EMP, just so you know, for all you uh, InfoWars listeners out there. EMP. All right, who else did we think? Oh, Alan Powell, Lit Milker Nation. Link. Fate of Kings used to make good shit, dude. Yeah, the, the Barcelona Boomers. Yeah. Consume, consume, consume. This film is dedicated would you, to. You, you, you'd watch Barcelona Boomers if they came back, right? I would, and I would watch. Uh, I would watch them. Uh, unironically, I don't know. I don't know why I like that show. I don't <laughs> okay. You, you, what about Melissa Fulton Brown? You're not gonna like. That's oh the the, shit, the right? chick, the doctor chick. No, I. Th there's no way. I, I why I. I don't understand the Hobbit thing. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm not interested in watching about anything about Tolkien or <laughs> Hobbits no. or. Uh, I I just can't get into that stuff, man. So no, that's a big. That's a hard pass on on me. Yeah, it, it's all. It's just super super boring. It, it's funny that she like kind of goes off off script a little though, and Ted has to Ted has to like bring her back because she's like too much in the weeds and like discuss it she's like doing actual content you're not supposed to do that you're just it's supposed to be rhetoric 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 owning the owning the libs owning the sj dubs getting us one day closer to 2033 <laughs> like that, that's supposed to be it but she's like well actually but so, like i said I don't, I don't think she's gonna really last that long because i like she doesn't she she's not really like she's valuable as like a, a a token sort of thing. Like so, the next time someone's like, "Hey, uh, 
Yeah, and you know, now when, you, when you, we you, were you, saying... YouTube, you should kick you should kick this guy off. He's women shouldn't vote. Well, that's preposterous. I just talked to a woman the other day, or what? Yeah, now when we, when I was saying token, I meant the the author. But yeah, she's sure she's a token. Uh, no, token I know female. you, meant Tolkien, the author <laughs> of the Hobbit. <laughs> Not a, I'm saying she though. Like her main value is, uh, like being thrown under the bus by Ted the next time someone calls him a misogynist. I, I haven't like having... watched that much of her, <clears throat> but no, I can see that for sure. Um, yeah, hey, we have a woman. We have, and not only a woman, but a uh, a career woman. So how could we be I sexist? Mean, I mean, kind of, but isn't she another one who like basically lit a pile of money on fire to own the? No, yeah, that's the way I understand it. Is that she is? Uh, I mean, she's tenured, so she's she doesn't have that much to worry about anyway, but. Yeah, she's one of not those. Not always that, true. Uh, <laughs> well, she's she's Do, doesn't offer the protection it once did. She is a uh, openly antagonistic with the rest of the staff, is what how I understand it. Oh, so she'd fit right in with Ted. Yeah. Yeah, she's uh, just like all of them. I mean, the whole stable of fools that they have there. Um, the new one, Razor Fist, seems to be uh, in that same mold. Um, who else you got? Oh, you got that idiot. Uh, I always forget his name. The homesteader. David the David the Good. Yeah, that's another one. A um, uh, uh, Wrangler Star. Wrangler Star. There. You go. I always forget that pendejo's name. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, it's so like there are days I forget like my own address and like <laughs> the birthdays of family members. But by God, <laughs> I know the name of homesteader guy on your way that I'm never gonna watch one minute of in my life. <laughs> I know the feeling. Um, so let's start wrapping this up. What what what's going on with the puppet show? For, tell us tell uh, us about I have, that. I have the puppet. It's right here. It looks beautiful. I went. I ran a cover a colored copy. I went and bought glue sticks. Uh, but I was planning on doing a video tomorrow, like a short one on the sub, where I uh, congratulate Carl on his, on being promoted to head writer for all. And. Uh, cause he's getting like a six to 12 hour turnaround now. This is amazing. Amazing. Oh, I noticed that that was, um, now I didn't, I didn't understand it completely, but so Owen is, uh, quoting his stuff now, right? Yeah. And the, the, there's another thing that like I've noticed where people will say a word that like isn't frequently used and then you'll hear him say it like a couple hours later and they're like, wait a second. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you heard that reading a certain somewhere. Like you didn't, you didn't pick that up from talking to the bears. No, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> All right. So that's like, I think be... you said grift averse one time, like uh, to describe like the universe of grifters. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Yo, like, I read GSK too. The only thing is, like. So what's going on? Is the puppet going to be on uh, on your D-Live channel? Figure out how to, if I can figure out how to stream on D-Live, yeah, I want to start doing like five to ten minute episodes with the puppet where I just scream at the chat and like tell them how dumb they are and uh, how high the puppet's IQ is, et cetera. Um, that little stuff, but uh, anybody trying to fuck with the puppet show, you need to know right away that uh, the ventriloquistic, fragile, faceless minions are going to come after you. The uh, uh, creek, creek, creek. Uh, everybody's going to come after you. So uh, somebody's got to make the rubble bounce. Uh, it's 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 illegal in uh, I believe Andorra. To def to to say anything bad about a puppet, so you'll you'll all be served and garnished. And the, uh, the best Supreme is that, Court the of best Adavia. is how he says garnished, because uh, <laughs> then it's like he like you know he made a rabbit out of a fucking carrot stick and put it on someone's plate or whatever. <laughs> 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 you'll have finishing salt. All right, my friend. I think we we've got it all. We got the uh, again. That was twenty twenties. 
The Diary of a Madman, the Vox Day story. The yeah, snubbed at Oscar time, but Well, I think we, we uh might oh, you go for, have, for next year. Yeah, I think we might have made the cutoff. So uh, you we'll should find submit out. it. Awards season is almost is almost around the corner. No, I'm like not even kidding. Uh they will <laughs> they have to consider you if you if you submit it around to some of these so you should see if you could get it like the denver virtual film festival or something because they're all going to be on zoom now uh so it's near perfect in- integration and and how and then this gives you the opportunity to be like ted and be really mad that like you didn't win some piss and award, like you didn't win the jury prize <laughs> at like the Grand Rapids International Film Fest or whatever, and now you're never coming back to Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is dead to you. And nobody was fucking thinking about Grand Rapids or their film festival the day before. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to consider that. I think I think I did look around for a bit. <clears throat> Nothing too serious. There's, there's, you know, there's several things on the internet. Did but, you send uh, out my DVD of this yet, by the way? Because I had paid like hundred and seventy five dollars for the signed DVD. Well, you know that we're having issues with COVID and shipping things, so <laughs> you're just gonna have to remain patient. All right. Well, I hope you're working with the guys who bit shoot. Whatever. Do not send me an email to my personal email address. It's. Blatantly obvious, we're not a Vimeo site. We've never been a Vimeo site. <sighs> it, it, yeah, just the making him deny things is the best. The, the, that's part of the reason the chat room's gone. I think is like he got tired of the customer service. He was only making like what between like five and thirty dollars per dark stream on super chats. So. It was just way more tr- – like, the gammas made it, so it was way more trouble than it was, like, for him to, like, s- s- stand there and get his dick sucked all night long by <laughs> all, the, all these divorced dads in between family court rants. He was spilling too many beans. That's what ha- – he had to um, – <clears throat> and he – of course, he realized that we were there watching <laughs> watching every movie made and every word he spoke. We were there catching. Oh, anybody up. listening to this, if you're around at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow and you want to be involved in a little ankle bite for me, what you can do is get on the Periscope app at 10 a.m. Scott Adams will be there. It's the, it's the Coffee with Scott Adams channel. And write in all caps in his chat, advice for divorce on locals. So basically what we're trying to get Scott to do is put his advice for people who are getting divorced on locals where all like which is his like pay pig pen it's because uh oh yeah yeah, yeah. 10, 10 a.m eastern is pretty is pretty early like over on the, over on the west coast and uh but yeah like also he's on there for like an hour like you can get up at you know 10 50 and uh still catch him but we're really trying to get him to eat into ted's divorced dad who want to listen to a uh bald bring piece of shit who mumbles uh confirm their biases we're trying to we're trying to make the 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 off ramp from ted a little easier and if someone's got like persuasion advice about how you can really rock it in family oh my god i don't think i'm thinking that might be of high value to michael mcdonald's in 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 ted's (laughs) Uh, that that sounds like a bit much i don't know if the if the subreddit can handle that (laughs) <laughs> no, it, it's like it's like six, it's like a six degree troll because like you got to go in, you got to get him to get to to actually do it. But I think he'd do it because he's he's always looking for like things to put on locals to like give to the people who gave him seven dollars a month. And it's all it similar to like ten any of these like boomer grifters where it's all um, like the most obvious advice, like hey, don't sleep with half the town. Uh, have have em, have employable skills. <laughs> Be on time when you go places, and then they act like you know they've really, really just told you the secret. Do people favors, and they'll do you favors back. That's that's one of Scott's big one. Is if you do a favor to someone, they'll feel an urge to do a favor back, which is fucking normal human interaction. But he's like, yo, step, a, give me seven bucks and step aside for a second. Got something really, really important to tell you. Oh, be nice to people. Thanks, Scott. <clears throat> 
Well, I would attribute it to his awesome talent stack. Yeah, he's got a he's got a great talent stack. I mean, look how his kid turned out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's uh, let's end it on that note. <laughs> on that All right. on that high note. Let's <laughs> All right, my friend. We had a uh, Yep. The Vox Day story, Mr. Oso de Maricon. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. chat. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night, chat. Later.